Oh, 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 oh. Still here. Mm -hmm. Still alive. Yep. Avengers Endgame. I am a little bit tired of the whole thing. Yeah. It might be the winter. Just being tired generally, but I sort of have this sense of fatigue towards the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. There's this exactly harrowing feeling of the echo of the old movies. So you sort of get the sense that you've seen all this before. Yeah. But I think that'll probably change come April when the movie comes out. I'm probably gonna like it. And um, but now for now it's just and then again the trailer or the teaser doesn't really show much. Yeah. It's sort of just yeah, um, I think I was sort of more positively surprised by this teaser than than I thought I'd be. There's um, there's a thing going round now. I think in Empire Magazine where they they have this they have this um, thing that who's going to win the Oscars and who should win it. Mm. And, and a lot of Marvel movies, Black, Pan Black Panther and, and the previous Avengers movie were both elevated into the status that, you know, it's time that a, a superhero movie would win an award, which is never going to, I mean, I'm not saying it's never going to happen, but it's not going to happen this no. year. I mean, Black Panther wasn't that good. No, and wasn't. I don't think... Avengers Infinity War was that good either, but while they were talking about that film, I started to realize that the previous one actually probably was better than I thought. Mm. There's an interesting parallel. They were saying how, how it flips the expectations of what a hero is, because in the end when you see Thanos and he's sitting, sitting mm. down and he's finally finished his task and he knows everything that he's had to sacrifice mm. for it and so on he's the sort of the hero in the movie yeah. he's the protagonist of yeah. the movie which is weird because we're 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 taught to think that he is like all comic book bad guys are he's the ultimate evil no yeah. and now he's sort of I mean, Dude, it doesn't. A point. Yeah, he has a point, and it it, it hasn't exonerated mm. him, and it's it's true that he's a bad guy, but mm. he's. I think that it was interesting, and I'm sort of hoping that they'll be able to wrap it up. No, it's a monumental task because the first one was difficult to. You know, there's like 200 characters mm. that you have to melt into one single movie and no. make. Uh, a working narrative and I think that I'd like to see it again actually because I thought on first viewing that it didn't work that well mm. but now that I've thought about it afterwards I, I thought that actually with the material that they had no. it's quite a good effort yeah but um, coming back from to the to the teaser, I think that there's obviously there's the thing that I know what you're thinking, saying when you're talking about being tired about it, and I think it's this. Uh, we'll have to make this work. Uh, be, yes, you know, because if we don't make it work, I don't know what I'm mm. going to do. This is going to work, Steve. I know it is, because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. So that's sort of basic 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 fare of, no. of superhero films and that's that's gotten a bit tired mm. but i but the things that i did like about it was uh first of all there's a whole new set of nerds now mm. who are the mcu nerds who yeah. are not necessarily the the, 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 true, the yeah. and and they and i i count myself among them mm. although i've been a comic book nerd before that mm. But there's this sense of having to let go of all of these fantastic actors who've yeah. played the roles. 
So the first opening monologue of Iron Man in space, mm. where everything has an end and I'm running out of yeah. air, I'm running out of food, um, that resonates with me. Mm. That, that sort of gives me a bit of chills because I know that this is probably going to be the, fir the last time I'm going to be seeing Downey as Iron Man yeah. and going to be seeing uh, Evans as Cap. So, so I think that'll be a significant thing. And I, th I thought yeah. that evoked that nicely. Not, you know, huge explosions and, mm. and, and, and action scenes and stuff like that, but just a guy talking to yeah. a camera. Mm. Uh, I also like the fact that the, the small guys in the franchise mm. are back. Hawkeye yeah. is back yeah. and Ant-Man is back. Mm. The end of Ant-Man and the Wasp was, I thought, really well done. Yeah. The, with the whole, I mean, really well integrated into this whole Infinity War thing. And I, I knew that he was going to be back for this one. So that I like. Yeah. Um, other than that, again, it's a teaser, so not a yeah. lot there. But, uh, but it, it will be interesting. It will be. And it will be also will be really interesting to see which of the characters they're actually going to have stay buried and which yeah gonna... because that's really something that's sort of like a revolutionary thing in comic books that you're actually killing off somebody for good yeah they're gonna be gone yeah it almost never happens even in the comic books and in the comic book movies basically it's just never yeah almost yeah but it i hope that they don't pussy out on that because it has so much emotional weight yeah to have them actually gone well i think without the contractual things they might pussy out from that but since there are actors who just yeah sort of tired yeah of playing those old roles i think they have to do it yeah 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 but but i mean even they have to realize because they if if marvel knows something better than dc mm. is is how to emotionally invest audiences mm. in their in their yeah. characters and one of the reasons why people emotionally get connected to characters is that there, there has to be a possibility that they're also lost mm. forever yeah. because if nothing if if death means nothing then yeah. then that dilutes the yeah the emotional experience definitely. so much definitely and you have to have you have to have the sense to say that okay this guy has been playing iron man for like 10 years now yeah so maybe he could do it for two more years and then it's going to start to feel a little bit old, just yeah. having the same characters. Yeah. So you have to sort of mix it up. You just have to do it. Yeah. But I, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm also less interested in this movie. I mean, obviously I want to see it and obviously I want to see how they pull this off, but I'm more interested in what are they going to do next? Mm. Are they going to just keep on trying to find new characters that they think that are interesting. I mean, there's been talk of like a Moon Knight movie and mm. this, you know, but these characters tend to be lesser characters mm. in the Marvel Universe yeah. anyway, which didn't seem to be a problem with Guardians of the Galaxy. No. But, uh, but at some point, you know, you're yeah. gonna run out of, because some of the, obviously a lot of the characters are also just, you know, copies of, older characters yeah. they have a twist yeah. in a way mm. uh, but yeah it, it will be interesting what yeah but they're gonna get fantastic four they're gonna get x-men that's true I mean. that's true but still there's movies done they've mm. they've done yeah. good movies and really really bad yeah. movies about about those groups so so that's not really a new new thing no, either it's not. that's true yeah um but and obviously there's a, this there's massive amounts of characters that mm. are there. But it's also always a gamble because like with the Inhumans thing, it didn't work out. No. Um, and I don't think that the Inhumans were any more ridiculous than Guardians of the Galaxy were on the outset. I think it's a lot to do with budgetary restraints. Yeah. When you do a TV show, um, you can't really use that much money on anything. Yeah. So you're gonna the script ain't gonna be that good. The director, the actors, the just the visual effects. It's yeah, just not gonna yeah. look that good. I have one final question. Why didn't Thanos just create more resources instead of killing half the people? Why not just? 
Well, I think it's I think it's to do with the name. Oh <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah dude, li dude likes death yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they they yeah. worship death. So I think uh I think that's uh I think that's a good enough excuse in the comic sure book that, world, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with that. Yeah, it's a good one. It is a good one. <laughs>